but if you look from uh, from an objective point of view, could you tell us where Archicad potentially lacking and needs to be strengthened uh, and gets better on that aspect and where it's very powerful? The Revit is dominating the industry, has been like dominating the industry for many years because of the AutoCAD and all this marketing approach, aggressive marketing approach for many years. And how, I mean, like, graph, I believe Graphisoft is seeing OpenBIM as a, a unique approach, an important approach uh, for the for the industry because one vendor is dominating it. And if there is a more, uh, like, if the industry becomes more vendor independence, independent, and now people will focus on products that suit them best rather than focusing on the vendor directly because of the vendor is very good in marketing, right? So when it comes to Revit and Archicad, obviously, uh, you are. I know that you are representing Graphisoft, but if you look from uh, from an objective point of view, could you tell us where Archicad potentially lacking and needs to be strengthened uh, and gets better on that aspect and where it's very powerful? Yes, this is a good question, and um, you can see a lot of comparison videos if you go around in the internet, and you can you can read a lot of opinions on both sides i guess there are uh fans on both sides of the softwares so <laughs> basically it's really hard to to give objective points um because there is no objective points in in, in the in this equation everyone is looking in subjective uh, subjectively so what i guess is um the two software uh, if we are focusing on the software, is is focusing on a bit different areas of of the whole uh, design workflows and all the stages that they can go through, and in certain things and certain parts, uh, one is more powerful than the others, and other um, in other stages, um, the other software is more powerful or not more powerful. It's a, working a bit different, a bit more effective. Um, I guess. Um, as, as a Graphisoft employee, um, I cannot say anything else that our software is the best, of course. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, but I guess the main point is here just to look for the purpose. Look for why uh, or what you want to deliver and how you want to reach it. Um, because that's, that is going to answer the question which tool you are going to pick at the end. So... Um, there are pros and cons. You can have this objective list, but it doesn't really matter if you are a so designed focus uh, office that that you need a certain tool which is only available in Archicad, um, and you are going to build up all your workflows and processes uh, on that one particular element. It doesn't matter if the rest of the industry is going to use another software. You are going to use that because that's good for you, and you are going to face the other challenges, but it can be another way around. So it's probably not the best tool for your production, but the rest of the industry is using that. So you are going to sacrifice productivity and freedom on the altar of uh, interoperability or communication flows with the others. And I guess where you put the line, it's up to, up to the office. So. Uh, I think this is the all-time question that uh, you are going to suffer from one part or from another part. You are going to have problems uh, because you are dealing with complex projects, that's for sure. And uh, where your um, risks or where, where you have the line um, or what kind of problems do you want to deal is the question at the end. If you like this video and more videos like this, subscribe to our channel because there will be many more. And don't forget to turn the notification bell on.